What's up guys? Have kind of a combo introduction today since they're both right here behind me. So here we go. First one is my 1997 Eclipse GSX. Not really much to look at right now, but kind of got grandiose plans for her in the future. It's really just all stock right now. Some bolt-on front mount, full exhaust. Typical mod you'd see on one of these cars. As far as plans for this one go, as you notice, I'm kind of loaded down with projects, so I sort of have a car for every day of the week, if you will. This one I intend on being more of like a race car. It'll still be streetable, you know, in most people's opinion. Probably not fall under the category of a street car, but I'll definitely drive it on the street. Definitely not a lot to look at under here right now. Again, the engine's all stock. It was when I bought it. It was actually running when I bought it. Just had some rod knock. So, excuse to build the engine, right? So, again, going kind of full race car on this one. So, no AC, no power steering, no wipers. Probably go to manual brakes. Uh, may even go real extreme and chop the front frame rails off in front of the shock towers and tube front it. We'll see. But engine build wise, fully built engine, big cams, fully built trans, big turbo, a lot of boost, a lot of horsepower, yada, 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 yada. Haven't really grinded it down, figured out an exact part list yet, but I have a pretty good idea. I'd like to get a lot of fab work done on this car, you know, do a lot of it myself. So, good excuse to bust out the grinders, welders, band saws, hammers, headaches. Whatever, you know, all involved in that. Moving right along to the 300ZX. So this is a 1990 300ZX. My wife's is a 91. Uh, this is also a twin turbo car. Also actually an automatic car. Uh, it will be getting converted to a 5 speed. However, it will most definitely not remain a VG30 engine. Wow, that is scary. Lots of room for improvement in here. I mean, you may not can see it, but it is just a pile of rust back there. I think it's all the battery box, so hopefully pull that out and that'll eliminate 90% of that. But you can just see, I mean, it's it's terrible in here. So good good way to get a nice before and after though. I like starting out with something this rough sometimes. Not all the time, but it is fun to have something this bad and turn it into something really nice. Now, as far as what engine will go in here, again, I said no VG30. So I plan on branching out and finally trying out a V8. So no Nissan, no Toyota, so no VH45, no 1UZ, no 2UZ. Just if I'm gonna do V8, just might as well do it. So It'll be something LS based, probably start out simple, just swap in some kind of 5.3 in here and get everything situated, all the wiring, make sure all my gauges work, no problems like that. And then we can go from there, but definitely convert it to 5 speed while we're at it. There's a company called LOJ Innovations that makes a nice kit for this. Allows you to use the factory Nissan 5 speed transmission, which I have one of already, so that helps. But they give you the oil pan, the flywheel, the transmission adapter, motor mounts. They make it all, so it should be really easy swap when it comes down to it. All right, hopefully this shows up on camera, but this is like 80% of the reason I bought this car in the first place is this almost mint 1990s porno red interior. As you'll see in another project introduction video, I'm definitely a fan of mint oddball color interior so had to get this one I actually have a set of long discontinued never used brand new OEM red floor mats wow that was a mouthful but yeah pretty sweet alright guys that was kind of just a quick summary of each one of the cars if you have any questions or like me to go into any more details about what I have planned for either one of them don't hesitate to ask uh, the Eclipse won't be staying red. I plan on changing the color, maybe gunmetal or copper or something. The 300 will definitely stay white. Got to have the white with the red interior. 
But anyways, uh, if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button. Hit the subscribe if you're looking forward to more videos. Check out the other videos I have on the channel. You know the whole deal. And in the meantime, just wing it, guys.